As the Rangers move closer to finishing camp, the race to get healthy and ready for opening day quickens. Working to get back to full strength and into the lineup is World Series MVP, Corey Seager. We're staying confident that these guys will be ready. If not on opening day, you know, probably within the first week with the exception of low. So we are a little banged up by it, you know, so I have to be honest there. That's, and there should be a level of concern uh, because we got three of our infielders that are not ready to play. Um, so it's important that, you know, we continue to rehab them in the right way so they'll be, be ready close to opening day, if not opening day. The splits go up. Okay, stay tall. In unison. Yep. So, so they're both going down lying. together? So they both go down together? Yep. Just like that. So normal Copenhagen, just 90 degree holds. Three by four. Fair warm up set? Yeah. Squeeze the oranges. Do I need to come across the midline more? No. You're good. You want me to hold both dumbbells or one? Uh, both. Yeah. Nap time. Yeah. All star Josh Young is ramping up for the season after a calf injury in week one. Gotta make sure that calf's hot. We need some music out here. Evo, how far are you going? I'm past your lane, pal. How long toss day one of every series? <laughs> Listen, it's a long throw across the diamond, okay? I gotta keep my arm in shape. Some of us don't get to throw 60 feet for a living. What's up, everybody? We got a crowd today. It's weird not having Corey out here today. Better. I was gonna make a joke, but can't make a joke on a hot mic. You want me to jump and spin as far as I can? <laughs> there you go. Speed demon, here we come. Nothing. Took Wyatt to breakfast and stayed home. Hey guys, come on in. Welcome to an off day in spring training. <laughs> First one to sit down gets the remote and puts on whatever they want. <laughs> I made them sit through a rom-com one night. That was awesome. And Nate was not happy about it. I had just walked in and like <laughs> I just saw they were both sitting here watching something, so I just came and sat down. <laughs> I thought it was actually pretty good. A light moment for a pair of guys who are each going through their own Hollywood stories in camp. The fairy tale. It's my very first one, so it's been a it's been a whole learning experience, but I mean it's been it's been great. I mean he's raking, so can't <laughs> that, really complain about yeah, that. That, that, <laughs> that makes it like makes it a little, or that something. makes it better for sure. And for Josh, a hero's journey through trials. I'm just rehabbing. That's all I'm doing right now, so I show up, get my work in, and come home. I usually got some type of recovery device on my calf. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's been three weeks and some change now. So, we're getting closer. I was very surprised at how, like, chill it was. Like, you kind of just come in, get get whatever work you need to get done, and then, I mean, you, you play your game, play your couple innings, and then you go back to the house. It's, uh, it's very nice, it's very relaxed, and, um, I mean, it's all about the baseball and just getting your work in. Big difference from college. Yeah, big difference from college. But so far, the rookie is handling this learning curve. 
It's been great. It's, uh, it's all happened very fast. Um, it's been really cool meeting all the guys in the organization. Baseball is all about learning and just adapting. Yeah, there's no finish line for anything. Like, you just continually are learning something. And it helps to find a housemate who's been through camp before. I really didn't know what I was going to do about living, and then Josh texted me, so it, it kind of worked out perfect. Just kind of seeing how guys live, basically, you can kind of get to know them a little bit better. Um, but when it comes to baseball stuff, you can just bounce ideas off each other. Hitting-wise, everything. You just kind of, you're just able to get away from the field and actually ask those questions without there being a ton of different people and voices around. Watching him do his thing right now is so sick um, because it can be very intimidating coming into your first big league camp. Learning off the field might be just as important. Yeah, Josh, <laughs> Josh is the loudest. He plays a lot of Fortnite. <laughs> when you have your headset on and you're mad and you scream, you have no idea how loud you are. I was playing and I, I yelled pretty loud and I didn't know if Wyatt was home or not. And I yelled, sorry, Wyatt. <laughs> But he wasn't home yet, thank goodness, because I screamed pretty loud. Seeger got me a couple times and I was upset about it. <laughs> I play with my brother a bunch, and then whenever Seeger gets on, um, and some of Seeger's buddies, his, some of his high school buddies, and then Brock Burke will be on every once in a while. Um, Evaldi plays a bunch. Uh, Josh Smith plays a good amount. So basically, whoever's on, just try to play with them. But when I'm yelling, it's usually because Corey's killing me. Sometimes it's just good to unplug. Um, off days are always great. You always look forward to them because it's a day to just get off your feet and let the body relax. Check. So you have played Marcus? Yeah, he beat me. You're coming for me right now. Check. I mean, I don't think there's anything left for me to do. <laughs> That's a game. <laughs> you know, it's a chess game, so, you know, you learn more and more about yourself every day on the mound. Rookie pitcher Mark Church finds himself making his own moves this spring. My main goal coming out of 2024 spring training is just, you know, to so show the org what I have to offer. I'm always eager to learn more about pitching, and, you know, I never stop working. Nathan E. Ovaldi, you know, he, he's a great guy. He came up to me last year, and you know, I'm a, you know, I'm really young, and I'm new to this pitching. So, you know, he just came to me, and you know, he helps me understand pitching more every day. And um, this year, he breaks down every time I pitch. He, he's watching, and then he comes to me the next day and tells me what I can improve on, and things that I need to think about, and how to read swings, and you know, just having a veteran like that in the clubhouse is a is huge for a young guy like myself. He's not kidding. Just a few short years ago, Mark was a high school shortstop who only took up pitching on a dare. My best friends, he bet me $50 that I couldn't hit 90 off the mound. I took the bet, I hit 92, and from that day on, I knew I was destined to be a pitcher, and uh, I never looked back from that point. Ever since the first day I started pitching, I fell in love with it. And now, Mark can only wait for news of where he will start the season and if he'll join the core of young talent in Arlington. You know, we have a chance to, you know, really make a huge impact on the team and we're already the best team in the world and we still have more pieces that are, that are gonna develop and hopefully that I'm one of those pieces. Pieces, like outfielder Evan Carter who took Rangers Nation by storm at the end of last season. First night game of the year. Hopefully I can see the ball today. I'm gonna to tell him how lonely it is in left field. Hola, hola. Is that it? That's all you got? Y'all like night games or day games better? You like night games better? Like in season? I mean, I like night games, but I like the occasional day games. I think I would rather play every day at one so I could get there like a normal eight to five, nine to five job and be home rather than getting home at like 11 and midnight. What's the banker hour? I want the nine to five. What's up guys? Here we go. Oh, there we go. Good, how are you? 
Here we go. Here we go. There's a lot of people here today. Kind of lacking on things to talk about out here. It's uh, don't got any friends out here in the outfield. It's just me. We got one. One out. One out. John's nasty. Little Georgetown number nine. Little 90 mile an hour slider action. Bump up his fastball into the upper 90s. It's tough at bat for anybody. Let's go swing it. You faced him before? Never faced this guy before. Oh, up and in. Big time sink. Good slider. Curveball. Here's a shot down the left field line. Base hit. How's it going, guys? Doing great. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm good. It's a big curveball we're talking about. On you, on you. He's tagging, tagging, tagging. Big play. Great play. He's a, yup. Had a baby. Evans' plate discipline continues to be sharp. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he just has a keen eye for where the ball is going. <laughs> I'm what? I'm about to smoke one right here. Yep. See a ball. See a ball. Yep. Don't want to say I called it. Oh, there we go. Hey, baby. Swing it. Swing it wide. Come on, baby. Rangers All Access is presented by T-Mobile, America's largest and fastest 5G network.